So, once again, it snowed on Sunday. I think that's five weeks in a row now. There's been a reasonable dump of snow on Sunday, either in Chamonix or over in Italy, or indeed both. Which is great for those people who don't work on Mondays. Sadly, I work Mondays and Tuesday. But anyway, there's a transient covering of snow down to the valley. Very, very, very short lived, but there's maybe 20 centimeters of snow up on the hill. But it's Wednesday now, and as you can hopefully tell, it's absolutely dumping down again. So I'm heading out to Grand Monte for a couple of hours just to see what it's like. But yeah, it was raining when I woke up this morning, but within 20 minutes or so, it turned to heavy snow. So the freezing level clearly plummeted very quickly this morning. So hopefully, it could be some regional accumulations of snow up on the mountain. So heading up there now to find out. So, it's very much dust on cross conditions at the moment. The snow's lovely and soft, there's just not really enough of it yet. And the base is just horrible frozen ice moguls. So, not that enjoyable, but it's supposed to keep snowing all day today. Bit of a brief lull tonight, and then some more snow tomorrow morning as well. So, maybe by tomorrow afternoon, it could be really, really nice. But, well, it's still nice now. It's nice to be out in fresh snow, but yeah, definitely needs more to be able to actually make the most of it. So probably the nicest conditions right now are actually on the piece as they were groomed last night before everything froze, bashed out all the slush moguls there's now a nice soft layer of snow on top plus it's really really quiet because the weather's bad so yeah, piece skiing today is actually probably the better idea So the Piero Rick piste, which is the home run down to Argentia is now closed for the season but this is France, it's because it's closed doesn't mean you can't ski it it's nice, pretty horrific down here, but I hate downloading, so I'm always going to ski down when there's an option to do so. That's still quite nice at the top. A little bit of fresh powder, but yeah, down here it's just slush. Look at this. This is the biggest dump of snow we've had down to valley level since December, I think. It's going to keep on snowing for another few hours yet, so it's pretty impressive. So I'm heading off to Cormier now, because naturally, on a day like today, most of the lists in Chamonix are either shut or delayed opening. So, heading over to the Italian side, where hopefully more runs are open, more lists are running. Just a shame it couldn't snow like this in January, when this was actually matted, because, unfortunately, as soon as it stops snowing, it's all going to melt again. Tomorrow's going to be really warm, so we've only really got one day to enjoy us down in the valley. But at least, skiing up high tomorrow should be good, but we shall see. So, change of plans. The tunnel queue to get to Italy was over an hour this morning and there's no point sitting around in a tunnel queue for an hour if you want to wait anywhere, might as well wait this side for the lift to open so, come to Flagere instead but honestly, it's really quite shit it's such a shame when you get a big dump of powder at this time of year because the, the base is completely gone so, at, down by, in the trees, where the snow is the best quality you can't enjoy it because you're just skiing on rocks and tree stumps up above the tree line, first of all, you can't see a thing today so you're skiing from pole to pole, so you can't enjoy it anyway but secondly, it's just all blowing away. So everything's just wind scoured. So yeah, such a shame really. I'm not one to complain about snow usually, but right now, honestly, it'd be better to be skiing on slush in the sun than it is to be skiing in this right now. But, oh well. Call me, I would have been so much better today because they've still got a decent base low down and a lot of it's tree lined. So, one, you can see, and two, you can enjoy yourself in the fresh powder. But what can you do? In true Chamonix fashion, they've now shut the two top lifts. Well, three, Floria was already shut anyway. But they basically shut all the upper mountain now, just as the weather's improved, which is exactly as it was forecast to do. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't open again all day either. Yeah, sure, it is still windy up there, but it's certainly no windier than it was an hour ago. So if they can open it then, then why not now? But there we are. So it means we've now got thousands of people up here, partly because nobody can drive up the road to Grand Monte because there's a little bit of snow on the road. And there's only two beginner runs open, so there's a lot of disgruntled customers up here. 
I don't mind because I've got a season pass, but for anyone who's paid 80 euros to come up here, it's pretty disappointing. Lift's closed for the day. Lifties have gone home now, they're probably in the pub, but there's not a breath of wind. It's actually glorious here now. Top to bottom, perfectly still and calm, but they're never going to open it again. Classic Chamonix. Days like today are why you basically never see me resort skiing in Chamonix in my videos. It's just so much stress and so much path and so little reward. Especially on a powder day, you never feel satisfied or rewarded for your efforts. And it's just not what resort skiing should feel like. If you have to Colmier or Saint Gervais when there's snow or the Contamine or pretty much anywhere else, you have a nice relaxed start to the day, you haven't got to rush for first lifts. Sure, if you do rush for first lifts, you can be absolutely rewarded, but you can keep skiing powder all day with a smile on your face, and at the end of the day, you felt like you've had a really good day. Chamonix, even if you get lucky and the lifts are running and the snow is good, you've always got FOMO because you never know what the other resorts are going to be like. Inevitably, wherever you've gone, somewhere else will have been better, but more often than not, lifts won't be running on a powder day because there's too much snow or too much wind or just because they can't be bothered so yeah it's really not very satisfying at all don't get me wrong i love living in chamonix exactly because we can ski in all these other amazing areas as well we can ski in three different countries in three different days on the same all on the same lift pass i can't think of anywhere else in the world where you can do that i'm sure there are places but i certainly can't think of them so it's certainly an amazing place to be but yeah sticking to resort the resorts in chamonix itself can be an incredibly frustrating process and of course, the main reason why you all live in Chamonix is not for these ski lifts, as I said last week. It's the massive alpine playground up there, which will be filling in nicely. So there's going to be some awesome conditions for weeks to come up there. And as for that high alpine playground, all the classics have been getting done this week in between the storms. So I had friends down the Cosmic Cooler, Glacier Rond. I saw that Ross Hewitt skied the Tournette Spur on the Calder Plan. Also, there was tracks down the Mallory earlier in the week, which the top still looks horrific, it's just bare ice. But I guess once you're down off that somehow, then there must be some okay, okay snow to be found. Otherwise you wouldn't be bothering getting down the first section. But yeah, still plenty of great conditions to be had up in the high mountains. All the couloirs are filling in nicely. The big Javasuta couloir probably isn't quite there yet. So I did the Jaeger couloir last week and the Bergsrund of the Javasuta couloir looks pretty much still impassable, but won't take too many more snowfall events until that's filled in and that's that, that goes as well. There's been the first signs of activity for skiing Mont Blanc over the last couple of weeks as well. The um, Grand Mule hut hasn't been open, it actually opens this weekend, Easter weekend, but it is still very much early season conditions for skiing Mont Blanc. Peak ski season for Mont Blanc is more kind of mid-April through to late May, early June really, so yeah, March is still very early, but as we've had plenty of snow this year up high, I guess people have been going for it, going to have a look. So apparently the lower traverse of the La Junction is impassable. There's a unavoidable crevasse, but the higher traverse goes just about. So that is possible. The north ridge of the Dom de Guta still looks very icy. I'm sure it's very technical, not particularly pleasant on skis, but the Petit Plateau, as always, is active. There's, serac there's evidence of serac falls there nearly all the time. So if you are going to go that way, you need to be quick. As for the north face of Mont Blanc itself, according to the Ch La Chaminade report, it's basically still like concrete, it's bullet hard rocks, hard snow. So nobody's actually skied the North Face yet. Anyone who has been trying it apparently has, not, has turned around before then. It's pretty much peak season for the Hope route now as well too. I've not got any first hand experience of it myself, but I've been bringing out quite a few clients recently who are heading off to do the Hope route. Unfortunately, the weather's not been great this week, so anyone who has been trying to do it probably hasn't got very far. But certainly in terms of the snow conditions and in terms of how filled in all the glaciers are, it probably goes right now. So if you ever get a long enough weather window to do it, then yeah. It's pretty much peak oat root season coming up soon now as well. As for the piece, it's worth noting that as well as the Pierre Rick now being closed, the Retour Pendant chairlift up at Grand Monte is now closed for the season as well, regardless of whether we get any more snow or not. So if you are heading into the Lavanche Bowl, don't get carried away and go too low because you're going to have a long, long walk out if you miss the tunnel. As for everything else, not much change from last week really. Yeah, lower down, the piece is getting scrappy and in a few places there'll be rocks and stuff showing when this fresh snow has been skied off and skied away again. But on the whole, up above Mid Mountain, most pieces are still complete, most runs are still open, lifts are still running. It's just Les Ouches, which is basically mostly closed now and it's not worth going to really. But everywhere else, it's still got plenty of snow. Yes, it'll be getting pretty slushy in the sun, especially on the south and west facing slopes at the Tour and Revent Fougere, but there's still plenty of snow to be skiing, so yeah, nothing to worry about just yet. 
So, as I said this morning, pretty much as soon as it stopped snowing, it started to heat up rapidly. It was around 10 degrees in Shamlin this afternoon, and even up at Mid Mountain, the snow was starting to get a bit heavy and a bit slushy. Certainly down here, okay, there's still plenty of it here in, in Lavonshire at the moment, but just the other side of the hill, which is more southwest facing, it's basically all gone already. Tomorrow, Friday, it's going to be even warmer again, so I expect most of the snow in the valley will go now, but at least up high it shall remain. And there's still plenty more snow in the forecast up high over the weekend and indeed perhaps beyond. So I'll be amazed if we get another dump like this down in the valley again this season. It's possible, but unlikely. But certainly up high in the mountains, there's still plenty more to come. So if you are coming out this weekend, next week, you still could find some pretty good snow up high as well. So we may not have had a white Christmas this year, but it looks like we're actually going to get a white Easter instead. So happy Easter, everybody. If you are coming out soon, enjoy it, have fun and make the most of the snow. And till next week. <laughs> Just a little postscript, matching off back to the UK next week, so there won't be a snow report next week. So till the week after. The season may be drawing to a close, but it's not over yet. I'm going to keep going until the last lift closes, which could well be into May. So while many of you have stopped paying attention and lost interest in skiing now, there's still enough of you who are interested in skiing for me to keep going, so I'm going to keep doing it until, until the snow runs out on the lift stop. But yeah, just a quick pause next week, so I'll see you in a couple of weeks' time.